CEO Rod from Create a Difference. True Ball Reviews. Here we go. Starting off throwing the IQ Tour. That is our official control ball. It's drilled 60 degrees by four and three quarter by 30 degrees and it's sanding with a fresh two cut, true cut 2000 grit sanding pad. Today we're gonna to be looking at the new Rotor Rib Rubicon. We're gonna see what the Rubicon's got relative to the IQ Tour. So we're gonna watch us, we're gonna watch Dustin throw both balls. We're gonna start off by throwing over third arrow. It's a little bit wider right. Didn't recover. We also got specto action going on. We got some specto data we can look at and we're gonna use the specto data uh, to help us as well. But we've also got clutch. So clutch can give you a visual of exactly what we're seeing with the specto data. So looking forward to being able to share a lot of that information with you today. Now, the Rubicon is not finished at the same finish as the IQ Tour is, but that's okay. As long as your IQ Tour is finished the same way ours is, then you will be able to understand and see the comparison. So if the Rubicon hooks less than the IQ Tour, then if you were to buy a Rubicon, you should expect it to hook less as well. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a whole lot better than if we didn't have a control ball. So it's a good start. So Dustin's now gonna throw the Rubicon again over that third arrow. Get a feel for what this ball does. And then we look at some of the specto data. I can tell you if the th shot was thrown the same, it was very close. And it appears that the Rubicon is less hooked than the IQ Tour, which isn't good or bad but it can help you decide if that ball belongs in your bowling bag or not, depending on what you're looking for. So the whole key here is you need to have the control ball we have, and then that tells you how the rest of your balls perform. And then based on that information, you can decide what kind of bowling ball you need next in your arsenal. And by watching our ball reviews, we can tell you that. So Dustin now is throwing the ball over second arrow, which is more friction, and we're blowing on the Kegel Chromium lane pattern. Chromium's got more hook uh, outside and less on the inside, but it's also not super easy. So you can get a good feel for what the bowling balls do. That was the Rubicon and it went a little bit right. Laid on one too bad, but the launch angle just a little bit further to the right. And the ball did not recover. And this is not about striking, right? This, this video, our ball reviews are not about striking. Our ball reviews are about letting you see the performance of the bowling ball relative to another bowling ball, because that's what really matters. If you are if you decide you need this bowling ball or not, you need to know how it compares. So now you move to fourth arrow with the IQ Tour, stronger motion. Hopefully is what you're looking for there. There's more oil. Uh, the IQ Tour is a continuous ball. And kind of what I'm seeing is a continuous type shape out of this Rubicon as well. We'll see when it gets in the oil how it performs. Now remember, these balls aren't the same finish, you know, so we don't expect them to, to roll the same. We just want to get a good comparison. That's not terrible. That ball got back. So definitely uh, thrown the same, similar. And it appears in that particular case, the Rubicon was slightly stronger actually. Uh, about a board stronger than the IQ Tour there. So now we've got clutch. You can see the clutch data. You'll be able to watch us now use the clutch system to be able to show uh, exactly what we're seeing, as well as being able to have a little better understanding of the ball. So Dustin will go back to third arrow, and he'll start with the IQ Tour. There we go. And that's a nice high flush strike. And we will now use the 2000 grit, or not 2000 grit, but we'll use the Rubicon and we'll see how that ball performs right there. And this will help, like I said, give you a better understanding of that this ball is best for you. You can buy the Rubicon at bowlingforless.com. You can also get the control ball at True Reviews. That's a pretty good shot, Dustin. So these balls are close. I would say these balls look very, very close. Uh, lay down was the exact same launch angle was within a within a point tenth of a degree um, So all the data from him looks like it was really good and basically 
Uh, the data says that they're within a half, a half of an inch of each other, which is great at 60 feet away. So these balls appear to be really close, which would make the Rubicon a continuous ball. Um, I'm gonna curious to see what Dustin does here. He's got the IQ back in his hands. He's in a little bit. He's in a little bit and got a high flush strike. So I'm assuming you're gonna throw the Rubicon in the same spot and we'll see if it continues to strike through as well. So the goal, like I said, is not for us to, to manipulate the ball with our hand or ball speed or any of that stuff. The goal is just to get a good comparison between how these balls compare. Very, very similar shot. Very, very similar reaction. So I would say these balls are pretty close. Uh, I, I think that if you're looking for a ball that is continuous, looking for a bowling ball that could be first out of your bag, uh, if you've got the IQ Tour, maybe you don't necessarily need the Rubicon, but at the same token, if you're looking for a replacement, an updated version, it doesn't seem like that ball's too far off. Dustin, uh, what do you think about the, uh, the Rubicon? So I like the Rubicon a lot. Um, it's a little later than the IQ Tour. That could be a surface uh, variable that makes it do that. But I really like the continuous shape of it. This is something that I would use either second or third out of my bag. Um, after like a strong HP ball, um, but I, I really like what I see out of it. It's, a, it's like a new IQ Tour. So there you go. We got some more information for you. You can always uh, check us out at ctdbowling.com. You can also get the new Rubicon from Rotor Grip. You can get it from us at Bowling for Less. And as always, uh, trueballreviews.com is going to have a lot more of these ball reviews for you to look at. We may even have like the best balls for 2020 um, or, or for you to be able to take a, take a peek at. So looking forward to showing you guys some more stuff as we continue the ball testing and development process. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And check out one of the other videos on the screen for more information. Thanks for joining us.